What's going on guys? Welcome back to Sneakerbot Club where we post Sneakerbot Live Cops tutorials and reviews. In today's video I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on the Splash Force bot to be used specifically on Yeezy Supply. Now this video is going to be great for any first time users or any users that have had trouble copying on some releases. I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks that I use to help me cop. Okay so I'm going to go through each one of these tabs. Let's start over here in settings. Um, for the most part, I just leave everything default. The only thing I do is install a webhook. So in order to do that, you want to go to your Discord, go into your, go into the channel that you want to use for your webhook. Click on Edit Channel. Click on Webhooks. Click on Edit over here. Hit Copy, Save, Close, and paste that link right in there, and hit Save. Next, we'll go over to the billing section. Now, the billing section is pretty straightforward, but I'm going to go ahead and make a fake profile for you guys. We'll do first name, last name, address, city. I guess you got to do the country first, and then you can do the state. And we'll do a zip code, phone number. So ship to the same billing address, name on card. And once you have all of your info entered, just hit save. And if you wanted to use this info to start making another profile, go ahead and hit duplicate. And now you can do, you can start jigging your address. You can do add an apartment number, change the email, change the phone number a little bit, and change the profile name and hit save. And we have two test profiles. Now, if you have all of your profiles set up in some sort of billing converter, you can go ahead and click import and you can import all of your profiles right in here. Now the account section, this section is not used for easy supply, so we're just going to go ahead and skip that. Now for the proxies section, what you're going to want to do is add your proxies just by clicking on add and paste your proxies right in here. Hit save and you can test these if you want. You can test them onto different websites, try easy supply and so on. Now for Yeezy Supply, I recommend using residential proxies. I know a lot of users have good success with DC proxies, but it's totally up to you. Now let's go ahead and create some tasks for Yeezy Supply. So the first thing you want to do is go to site and choose Yeezy Supply. Next thing you want is the product ID. Normally they'll post the product ID in uh, the Discord. So I'm going to head over to Yeezy Supply and just grab a just a shoe that's in stock right now. So we'll take this shoe, copy the SKU from right here, and paste that right in there. Billing profile, go ahead and just click on that, and then look for the profiles that you want to use. I'll use the two test profiles we just made. Quantity, if you want to make multiple tasks. So if I do one, it's going to make one task for this profile and one with that profile. Next up, you want to choose your size. So here you can choose specific sizes. You can choose multiples. You can choose random or you can choose both. Now with the way I have it set up here, it's going to make one task for each profile in each size. So it's going to do one five and a half in the test profile and the test two profile, one size six for each profile, six and a half for each profile and so on. Now for a hype release, that's going to have a waiting room. You want to change this to waiting room. But for this test task, I'm going to leave it on product because the product's in stock right now. For proxy, I'm leaving that as true. Recap three, leave as true. Schedule task, I'm not gonna schedule a task. Custom delay, I'm just gonna leave it default here. So for this test, I'm just gonna choose a five and a half and a random. Go ahead and hit create. Then head over to dashboard and make sure you're on this easy supply tab. Next up, I'm gonna go over the recap three harvester. Now to me, this is the most important part of the bot. If you don't have this part correct, then you're definitely not going to copy any shoes. So I'm going to show you the proper way of doing this. For each Gmail account, I wouldn't run more than 10 tasks. So if I'm running just one Gmail account, I'm only going to run 10 tasks. 
If I run more than that, then I run the risk of getting my Gmail account temporarily banned and I, there's no way I'm going to pass splash page. So the more Gmail accounts on unique proxies you have, the better. So now I'm going to show you how to add these Gmail accounts. So if you have a personal Gmail account that you normally use on your home computer, you're just going to want to leave this proxy section blank and go ahead and click on open YouTube and it'll open up this window and you would just sign into your Gmail account like normal. There would be a sign in button up here. Click on that and sign in. Once that's all done, just close out of that and you're done with one solver. So when you're adding another Gmail account, you're going to want to input a DC proxy, preferably one that you've been harvesting your Gmail account with. If not, just go ahead and enter any proxy. As long as a Gmail account is an aged Gmail account or it has a 0.9 security rating. So you're going to paste the proxy here, click on apply proxy, click on open YouTube, and you're just going to log in like normal. Click on sign in. And once that's all signed in, just go ahead and close that window. So now you're going to repeat the process for as many Gmail accounts as possible. Now in this example, I have seven total Gmail accounts all on different proxies. So I would be safe running 70 tasks and I'll be able to get through Splash no problem and I won't run into any errors. I won't get temporarily banned either. Now, how do you know if your Gmail account is banned? So. The way to tell if you're banned is if the little capture logo down here disappears and you get some sort of weird text error down here. If that happens, you're definitely going to want to change out the proxy down here and try that again. Okay, now let's go ahead and run these test tasks. So I'm just going to hit start all. Now these are test tasks, so they're all going to get declined. But So if you take anything away from this tutorial, Definitely make sure you're logging in with multiple Gmail accounts, all using different proxies. All right, if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. All right, guys, peace.